Okay. Start again. Oh, start the whole thing again. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. I've just been told that I haven't been recording any of that, so I'm going to start from the beginning again. Uh, that's my IT consultant there messing up the sky. Uh, good morning, everyone. A really warm welcome to this uh, Pentecost service. Um, from my home. My name is Ruth. Um, I'm the curate at St John's and St Luke's and it's great to welcome you this morning. Um, I'm just going to, I hope you found um, the service sheet on the Facebook page. Uh, we're just going to start with um, those first words. Uh, the Lord is here. His the spirit, spirit is, is with us. us. But before I light my candle this morning, I just wanted to say something about Pentecost um, because you might know what Pentecost is all about, but you might be thinking, actually, what, what's Pentecost all about? What's, um, what's, what does it mean, Pentecost? Um, and it's got something to do with fire and it's got something to do with wind. And so um, I thought that rather than lighting the candle straight away, I might just say something before we do that. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel, uh, hang on, can you see that? A little bit like this. 
a little bit kind of flat. And sometimes I feel like uh, I'm not very good at living a Christian life. Um, I'm not very, I, I just don't have any life in me. And um, Pentecost is all about when God gives us a new kind of life by his spirit. It's all about the spirit of God coming in a new way. And uh, we're told in the Bible, we're going to look at the story in a little bit, but we're told it's a little bit like wind that fills up the disciples so that they are full of life. Can you see that? And it's also a little bit like fire. So I've got, rather than a normal candle this morning, I've got a special candle that looks a bit more like fire. So we light this candle to remind us that God is with us and his light shines on us. So we're going to be thinking a little bit about that story about the spirit coming. Um, but before we do that, um, we're going to sing together. Now we've got something special today um, in that Andy has um, recorded our song this morning, which is Bigger Than Big, um, and he's got a special helper. So shall we go over there? I hope you're going to join in the actions because Tom and Andy are going to show you how. So let's sing together. Fantastic. Um, a huge thank Well, I don't know what you found more exciting watching Andy doing the actions or watching Tom do the actions or watching Andy in his shorts. I'm sure some of you enjoyed that. I've never seen Andy in shorts before. Um, so uh, but that was a really great and I like the musical background as well. Fantastic. So I hope you all really enjoyed that. Now we're going to turn um, to our story now. Um, and we're going to um, just set the scene first before we tell the story. I wonder if you tuned in last week to uh, hear the story of the Ascension. That was the story that Andy told us about last week when uh, Jesus went back to be with his father in heaven. And he told his special friends to wait because this really special gift was coming. The Holy Spirit was coming. The Holy Spirit was going to come and live with them 
and uh, everything was going to be changed. And today, the day of Pentecost, we remember what happened then. So um, the story starts when they were just waiting, feeling a bit anxious and nervous, and they're just waiting for God to come. Um, we're going to tell the story today from, I've got a new book. Um, I just want to show you what that book is, just in case any of you enjoy it. It's the Rhyming Bible. I hope you can see that. Um, and so it's a bit like a poem and we're going to tell the story, um, but it's all kind of a bit like reading a poem. Um, and uh, there's just a couple of bits that I want you to do something. So when I say blowing wind, I wonder if you can go like that. Can you do that with me now? Blowing wind. And then tongues of flame. We've got a flame here, haven't we? But the flames came on their heads. So you might like to do something like this on your head for tongues of flame. So blowing wind and tongues of flame. OK, and I want you to listen really, really carefully. Um, and I want you to have a think. What difference does the spirit make? What does the spirit change? OK, so that's what you need to listen out with. So let's um, let's hear the story now. So blowing wind and tongues of flame. And then the spirit came blowing wind and tongues of flame and everything was changed. Gathered in an upstairs room were Jesus' friends together. And when the wind began to blow, it wasn't just the weather. God's Holy Spirit filled that place and tongues of fire too appeared on each disciple's head, a sign of something new. For tongues of fire soon turned into tongues of every nation and Jesus' friends could speak them all without an education. It was the Feast of Pentecost. So Jews from every land were gathered in Jerusalem. They didn't understand. These people are from Galilee, but somehow they can speak to each other in our own tongues, in Latin, French and Greek. But one man, not so courteous, said, this is what I think. They're babbling. They make no sense. They've had too much to drink. So Peter stood and told the crowd, these men are sober, friends. God promised this. It's coming from the spirit that he sends. The prophet Joel told us plain that one day we'd dream dreams, men and women, old and young. That day has come, it seems, for God's own spirit falls on us, the gift of Jesus Christ, who came to bring God's truth and lead us all from dark to light. But right here in Jerusalem, that man was crucified. You killed the one that God had sent. He suffered here and died. So God raised Jesus from the dead to live and never die and reign forever on a throne, seated at God's side. Upset, the people cried to Peter, tell us what to do. Repent and be baptised, he said. Receive God's spirit too. So that is what the people did. 3,000 were baptised and followed Jesus from that day, reborn, renewed, alive. Blowing wind and tongues of flame. And then the spirit came, blowing wind and tongues of flame and everything was changed. Well, I hope you liked that story and I wondered whether you noticed what changed after the rushing wind and the tongues of flame. Well, I think one of the, one of the key things was that Peter got really brave, didn't he? He stood up and he started to tell everyone about who Jesus was. And uh, just like Peter, we can be filled with the Spirit in the same way. If the Spirit fills us, there's just all sorts of things that we're able to do. We can, we, we believe in a new way, but also we can go out and tell other people like Peter did all about Jesus. Um, and the Spirit just basically changes everyone. The Spirit is God and the Spirit changes 
everything and everyone and everything around us. So when we pray, it's really important that we pray that the spirit would come into all sorts of situations and uh, and into us as well. So um, we're actually going to pray now. And um, I thought we might pray, first of all, just using our breathing, because that's a way that people have prayed for thousands of years, just using their breathing. So um, I just wonder if you could just take a moment to focus on your breathing now. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, when you breathe in this time, I want you to think about asking God's spirit to come inside you so that God's spirit will come in and give you new life. And normally we just pray something like, Holy Spirit, come and fill me. So let's breathe in now and pray that. Holy Spirit, come and fill me. Breathe in. Should we try it again? Holy Spirit, come and breathe and fill me. Breathe in. And then when we breathe out, we could pray that God's spirit goes out into the world, out into all sorts of situations that we feel worried about or sad about. So uh, let's breathe in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come and fill me. And then as you breathe out, I wonder whether you might like to just take a moment to think about people you know at the moment who are sad or sick. So I'm just going to give a moment of quiet. And I want you to pray, breathe out. And as you breathe out, pray that God's Holy Spirit would be breathed out on people you know who are sad or sick at the moment. Holy Spirit, come and fill me. Breathe in. And help the people who are sick and sad at the moment. And then I expect you're thinking about school at the moment because it could be that you are going back to school tomorrow or you might be thinking about your teachers or your school and um, it might be that you can't go back to school yet but you might want to pray for them. So let's, as we breathe out this time, let's pray for the school that we go to, for our teacher, uh, maybe for the other people in our class at the moment. So Breathe God's Holy Holy Spirit into that place now. So let's breathe in and breathe out. Holy Spirit, come and fill me. And I pray for my school. And I pray for my class. I pray that God's Holy Spirit would fill that place now. And then we know that we're all at home most of the time at the moment because um, lots of people are sick with coronavirus and coronavirus is all over the place and uh, it's making lots of people really sad. So we pray, we're going to pray now that God would help the scientists, help the doctors, help all those people who are trying to get rid of coronavirus. So let's pray God's Holy Spirit over the scientists and over the doctors and the nurses and all the people who work in hospitals. And over anybody we know who's stuck at home because they're really worried about getting coronavirus. Amen. Now, do you remember I showed you um, a balloon right at the beginning that I made yesterday? This is something that you could do at home this week sometime or even later today. If you've got a balloon or you could do it with a paper bag or you could do it with a rubber glove, anything you like, you could pray for somebody. And as you pray, as you pray that they would be filled with God's spirit, you could blow air into that thing. So, um, I, I, and you could even make it look like the person. So I'm going to give Guy uh, one now so that he can pray for me. Um, and meanwhile, I'm going to pray 
um, for somebody that I'm thinking about. And I want you to pray for somebody you think about as I blow this balloon up. And uh, I'm going to pray for that person now. God, I pray that you would fill this special person in my life with your Holy Spirit. I pray that you'd help them to know that they don't need to be afraid. I pray that you'd help them to know that you are with them. Amen. Guy, have you been praying for me? I have. I've done a picture okay. of you. Oh, okay. Should we have a look? Oh, look at that. Does that look just like me? What do you think? Does it look anything like me? I don't think it does really, does it? <laughs> okay, and I'm going to let the air out. This is the fun bit if you put air into a balloon. Watch this. There! Makes a bit of a rude noise, doesn't it? Because the thing is that we can't just pray for someone to be filled with the Holy Spirit once. We have to do it over and over and over again. So you could keep the balloon and maybe every night when you go to bed, you could pray for that person and blow your balloon up. There we go. Okay, so we're going to um, say uh, the prayer that we all know really well now, uh, which is the Lord's Prayer, and we're going to do that with action. So will you join in with me at home as we do this? So, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We're going to go back to Andy's house now to sing another song. Um, now, I chose this song because this song is uh, about the big family of God um, and everybody is included in that family. And uh, you might not know this song, but as you, you can join in with the words, um, it's very easy to learn. And uh, if you just want to listen to it, um, hopefully it'll help you to know that God loves you and you're included in God's big family. And it's a special one for today because um, as well as the Holy Spirit coming on the day of Pentecost, another thing that we say is that Pentecost is like the birthday of the church. It's the first day when the church started and we celebrate every year uh, Pentecost as the birthday of the church. So that's why we're singing this song now. So you are part of the big family of God. So let's join in with Andy and with Tom now and sing this song together. Some of us are big and tall, some of us are very small, some of us like pink and some light blue. Some of us like reading books, some of us like feeding ducks, that's because we're different, me and you. But God loves everyone he's made. God loves each of us.
it's you and you and you and you, you and you and you and you. We're part of the big family of God. We're part of the big family of God. We're part of the big family of That was a great song, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed singing that with Andy and Tom. And I like the you and you and you. And Tom did that really, really well, didn't he? So thanks, Tom. And thanks, Andy, for doing that. Um, and I hope you like that that new song. I've got some balloons because it's a party, because it's Pentecost. So um, blow your balloons up and then maybe you could have a bit of a party as well to celebrate Pentecost. Um, do you know what? I'm not going to blow out my candle today because um, the light of God that comes to us with the fire and the wind is with us still and doesn't go away. So um, that's what we're celebrating today. And I hope um, you can have a bit of a party at home as you celebrate the Holy Spirit who comes to be with us at Pentecost. Um, but let's finish with our usual words. So you might like to join with me in saying these words together. May the light of God shine from us and the peace of God be with us always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Um, actually, before we stop, have you stopped it yet? Nope. No. Okay, before we stop, um, I should also mention that there is Zoom coffee time at 11.15. So um, you should be able to find the link in the newsletter, um, or uh, on the uh, serv on the service sheet, um, and you can come and join us. Uh, it's quite fun. We did it last week. It worked really well. So do join us at eleven fifteen for Zoom coffee time. Okay, bye. I, I was just thinking, do you want that Andy and Tom song to finish it? Yeah, go on, put Let's it on again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Some of us are big and tall, some of us are very small, some of us like pink and some light blue. Some of us like reading books, some of us like feeding ducks, that's because we're different, me and you. But God loves everyone he's made. God loves each of us. That's you and you and you and you, you and you and you and you. God loves you, God loves you. That's you and you and you and you, you and you and you and you. We're part of the big family of God. Some of us have curly hair, some of us have specs to wear, all of us have different families. Some of us are very loud, some of us don't make a sound, that's because we're different, you and me, but God loves everyone he's made, God loves each of us in a special way, that's you and you. That's you and you.